Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Adrian Hernandez from the AH Photography Studios, located in New York City. And today we're gonna to be doing a product overview of Parsi's Buffs Einstein in comparison to their Alien B800 here. We're gonna be talking about some of the new features and some of the upgrades to the unit. So let's take a look. Some of the upgrades that they did in comparison to the Alien B800 to the Einstein is the body itself uh, is actually more streamlined and it's has more of a heft to it, has more of a solid build to it. As well as uh, if you look at the top of the unit here, uh, you see they have more ventilation over here. It has a, a slot over here we could put in a remote. And also has a little uh, slot right here we could put in an SD card for uh, firmware upgrades, uh, which is uh, nice because they can always upgrade it to new features as it becomes more available. Uh, one more, one other thing that they have done as well is that with the bracketing right here, you can see now they reinforced it with uh, with some metal, so it's much stronger. Uh, it's more of a bus. Another nice feature that they did was they moved the bracket from it being more forward over here. They brought it back more, so when you tilt the head and you bring it over, you're able to get more uh, a more of a down type of uh, reach to it. Uh, one more feature that they did, they replaced the antennas used to have here. So this type of uh, level system here, you just press down on it and you pull it out. Uh, they had an issue with the fingers, they call these the fingers here. Uh, they fixed it, I was able to put on a large softbox with no problem. Uh, another thing that they did was, is that they put on this dome here, this frosted dome. So. It illuminates like the light more evenly as UV corrected and stuff like that. So, so that's some of the features. So if you look at the alien bees, uh, they're a lot more bulkier. They're actually a little smaller than the Einstein, but the Einstein is just it has more of a streamline on it. It appears to be smaller than what it is. Also the build quality of it uh, is a little more flimsier than the Einstein but of course you're paying for that quality because you're comparing a $500 unit to about a $300 unit. Uh, something about that. Uh, also like if you look at the mounting bracket over here on the Alien B800 they have a more forward so when you tilt the unit it only goes up to a certain amount that you can tilt it down. So with the Einstein, they moved it back, they centered it more so you have more balance and you're able to drop it down more and get more of a, a, an angle. Uh, the bracketing system right here, as you can see, is plastic, it doesn't have the reinforcement on it. Uh, everybody's familiar with the antennas here, which you squeeze it, it releases. If you look at the little fingers here, the fingers are a little more narrower, skinnier, uh, but they still do a good job of holding you, the units. Uh, we look at the top unit over here, uh, you can see where it has, a, it has more ventilation over here but it doesn't have the, the space for the slot for the remote as well as uh, the little slot over here for the firmware upgrades and the slave flash is actually in the back over here and this is just a, a showing of the back of the alien bees, we're all familiar with this where you have like the levels going from a minimum which is 132 all the way up to full power and all the other button, buttons that go along with it. Okay, so we're going to be going over some of the features in the back of the unit. Uh, as we can see, the Einstein now has a full uh, digital back layout. And the way you control that is, if you look at the section over here where it says function, the function button, you actually use that to go from category to category. So in the first category over here, uh, which has the lightning bolt, that's what's gonna show basically the color temperature on top, the flash duality, uh, and uh, watts per second. Uh, so if we look at that unit first, you can see by the adjustment buttons here, all you have to do is just go up and go down, and that's how you control that. And you notice as, as you're adjusting it, that it tells you right down here the watts per second right now we're at 34.8 watts per second uh flash duality is at 4256 and the color temperature we have it on color mode 
which is gonna stay steady at 5600 Ks. Uh, if we move down from that right here, uh, we go into a section where you could put on by pressing the function button. Oops, give me a second, guys. Uh, okay. Uh, if we go down right here where it says model off, you can actually turn that on. And if you turn that on, you see that the light bulb popped up. That's uh, indicating that, you know, the modeling light is on now and you can power that up. And you can power that down and it gives you the readout for that. Uh, as you can see, modeling light is at 13.6. And if you hit it again, it goes to ready. So, you know, when you take the flash, it'll tell you like the audio, like if it's ready to go again. You could do it with uh, with all the light bulb. You could do it with both. Uh, I'll keep it off uh, just because I want to. Also, if you look down right here, you see where it says color. This is the section where you can actually uh, set up the Einstein for either color mode, which will stay pretty consistent for 5600 Ks, uh, to action mode, where if you put it in action mode, that's used more for uh, like if you want to free stuff like liquids and. Uh, athletes, dancers, and stuff like that will it will give you a faster flash duality. As you can see, the flash duality changed to 10,477. Uh, and also, what else can I show you? Uh, right here is for the slave. If you want to turn off the slave sensor, uh, you can turn it on and off. Let me just turn off this modeling light before I kill my battery. Oops. And in the section right down here is where it's gonna state uh, for your remote, you know, what channel you have it on, what frequency, and all that other stuff. Um, when you use the, the remote that goes on top over here, it automatically does it. You can configure it with the uh, Cyber Commander, and by using the Cyber Commander, you will actually have full control of this unit, and all of the features in the back of the unit will reflect on the, on the Cyber Commander. And yeah, so then if you just look, everything else, you know, you have your sock port over here. Uh, you have the easy button, which basically throws it into um, the default. And you have your test button. So pop, pop. There you go. Pop and it again. You, and you have also a uh, 8 amp fuse, which you could just swap out. So most of the photo shoots that I do are on location. Uh, either outdoors or in small establishments, and for that for that reason, I need uh, gear that's small, compact, uh, easy to transport, and I use a lot of speed lights. I use Alien Bees, and now uh, I'm using the Einstein. Uh, if you want, you could go over to my website, which is ahphotographystudio.co.cc, and there you could click onto the blog, the blog section, and you can check out the last photo shoot that I did with the Einstein. Uh, this is a poster that I did uh, of the photo shoot. You can go there, I'll go into more details about what I did with it as far as settings and placements and that type of stuff. Uh, so thank you so much. If you have any questions uh, that you would like me uh, to answer or go into more details, uh, please leave them in the comment box as well as uh, you can email me and I'll do my best to answer it. Have a good day. Bye.